Hilton says he was appalled by the action of Mobile Police, who he says searched him and arrested him without reasonable cause. And now police say they will investigate his story. Fox 10 News reporter Katie Wise spoke with him today. She's live at Mobile Police headquarters now. Uh, Katie, what was his reaction? Well, after Tom Herter was arrested, it got quite a bit of attention on social media over the weekend. So I took a deeper look into what he calls a wrongful arrest. This is my gear right here. I, I generally grab this. Carry, ride the bike with this in my left hand. Tom Herter of Midtown says he was picking up trash in his neighborhood with his dogs when two Mobile police officers approached him. Herter says the officers told him there had been a number of burglaries in the area and they were looking for suspicious activity. Herter says when the officers originally approached him, they asked him for his ID. Herter claims he did not have identification on him because he was just a few blocks from his house. He says he gave the police his name, address, and other personal information. That's when he says the police asked him to put his hands on the car to be patted down for a search. Herter admits he was sarcastic with the police, even cursing, but says he wasn't belligerent. I was appalled and I protested, but I never, never resisted everything they asked me to do, I did then. And it wasn't like particularly vulgar. It was like you probably curse with your golfing buddy. But I was pretty appalled, so I used some adjectives. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't particularly egregious, it wasn't particularly obnoxious, and it was not outside of my constitutional rights. Herter says he was handcuffed and put in the back of a squad car. He says once police checked his background and found he had a clean record, he was released from custody. But Herter says he saw another pedestrian across the street, so he called out to them to beware of the officers. That's when Herter said he was arrested for disorderly conduct. I asked criminal defense lawyer Ginger Pointer if it is illegal to curse at police. She says no. I'm not recommending that you do so, but legally you can cuss out a police officer and not be charged with disorderly conduct. This is the street in Midtown where Herter says the incident allegedly happened. He says he picks up trash in this area all the time. It's something he likes to do in his personal life and it's part of his profession. I'm the watershed protection coordinator, coordinator for the Mobile Bay National Estuary Program, the best job in the world. And my job is to work with the city and, and promote the wise stewardship of the water quality and living resources of Mobile Bay and the Tensaw Delta. My, I, I was out doing what I do for a living without pay. I do that. I love what I do. Herter says after he bonded out of jail, he received a call from Colby Cooper, Mayor Sandy Stimson's chief of staff. He knows what I do and who I am, and it was the most, it was a kind. He didn't throw any of his people under the bus, but he told me that the chief of police would be looking at it. The mayor was aware of it. It was really a great phone call, kind of almost a life preserver, followed by a phone call from, from Sandy Stimson. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier, Mobile Police are investigating this arrest, and they say that they will release the findings of that investigation once the investigation is complete. For now, reporting live in Mobile, Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News. Be interesting to see what that investigation concludes.